Guys, it is Thursday, now it's Friday, and I'm living to uh, Belo Horizonte. And the local here, like always, has been a gem. Very, very nice guy, he's gonna drive me to the bus station. So, what do you think about your first couch surfing experience, bro? Well, very good. Very positive experience. We'll see the review. I'm in, I'm in the bus station right now, in the Brasilia bus station, but I miss my bus. Uh, I was late, and the next one, the next one leaves at seven. I'm sorry, the next one leaves at seven, so it's 11 a.m. right now. So I have eight hours where I have nothing to do. So I gotta find something to do. The, the mall is right next door. You guys, I want to introduce the guys that I'm hanging out right now while I'm waiting for the bus. It's Rafael and his brother Bruno. Bruno. And they just made me a meal, and now they're. We're gonna drink some uh, abacashi, which is pineapple juice, I believe, that his brother made. But it's like a special kind of thing. Yes, pineapple juice. Now, the, the way I, I met these guys and his mom, his mom's over there. <laughs> uh, we were watching a game yesterday, well, the, the World Cup, the opening game, and he was there, and that's where I met him. And now, since I'm waiting for a bus, I hit him up, and he was available, so now we're just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> There's three games today and we're watching one of them right now, which is Mexico Cameroon. The game just ended it ended up as 2-1. Two, 2-1 one. Two, one or 1-2? One, what was the score? The final Three? score? 1-0. Mm -hmm. uh, Guys, we're really quick gonna drop off uh, Raf uh, Rafael's yes. mom. <laughs> yeah, she's going to another state, but uh, it's nice because I've Say never bye. seen the airport. Uh -huh. <laughs> Say bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> So that, you guys, is the airport, and since we still have time before my bus, we're gonna go to the downtown. No, to the lake, but this time we're going during the day, so we can see. Yeah. So guys, we're going back to this place. Where I came with um, Rodolfo, <laughs> but it was dark that time, and it was like, you couldn't see anything. Well, now we should be able to see everything. Yeah, I got it. So we made it here to the boardwalk. Yeah, they even have like a police boat right there. For all the boats that are going around, as you guys can see. We have three bridges. The third is the... That's beautiful. So I guess here's the thing about this, like... This is landlocked, so there is no sea here. But in Colorado it's like this. Well, this kind of makes sense because then you can have like a ocean, kind of fake ocean, and it's kind of nice to have that in the city. You know? <laughs> Although this one's huge, like I can't believe how much money they it must have cost to make ah, this. Ah, you know, it's artificial. Yeah, it's yeah. Already, yeah. yeah. That would be a lot of money. A lot of money. Yeah. Like the, I don't think so. They were the French part. Huh? They were from the French part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they will never separate. <laughs> Huh? No, that's impossible. Like I told you guys the other day, there's a bunch of these fancy restaurants. But then if, now we can actually see the bridge that I was trying to show you the other, the other day. What's the name of that bridge? Um, bridge of JK. JK. Juscelino Kubitschek, the president who built Brazil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, when it's, and when it's dark, like they light it up and it's different colors. Yeah, it's very nice. And as you guys saw back there, like a lot of people come take pictures here. There's a lot of photo shoots. It's, just, yeah. it's like really nice. There's something going on over there. So you have a cooking class going on here. Handcrafts. Handcrafts. Yeah. Like a fair. And they have this little cooking class. But it's like a fancy, fancy handcraft fair. Have you mentioned that I'm so young? 
well, yeah, like the chorus, uh, yo-yos and what how do you call? I don't know. You, you don't.